In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add two mechanics to your game animation sample project, a running slide and a slide launch jump inspired by the popular dash jump mechanic in platformers. I'll be using animations I released as part of my free AAA animation every week series, and all the links are in the description. Okay, let's get into it. Silver classy tutorial teach you to find First, we'll install the game animation sample from the Epic Launcher, then we'll launch the project. Next, we need to grab the animations. I've put everything on my Discord server, including the animations and links to the UE Blueprint logic created in this tutorial, which I hope makes it easier to follow along and will be faster to implement this mechanic in the future, as you can skip the video and just pull down the Blueprint mods. I go to the week one post in my Discord and pull down the UEFN Manny animations for running slide and running slide to falling. Don't pull the UE5 Manny, we definitely want the UEFN one because that's the mannequin that's used for the game animation sample. If you do use these animations, my only ask is for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel, which will make sure you get notified when I release more animations and tutorials. Let's come back into Unreal and import the animations. I'll create a folder, call it Sliding Tutorial, and then I'll right click and import the animations. You definitely want to grab the UEFN ones since that's what the game animation sample is using, not the UE5 Manny. And then we'll select the UEFN skeleton and import the animations. So there they are. First, we need to configure animation, which is really just turning on root motion. So we go down and we enable root motion and we force the root lock. The slide to falling animation doesn't really need root motion turned on because it doesn't have any root motion movement, but I just do it for good measure. Okay. So now what we need to do is make animation montages. That's what's actually going to fire when we do the slide mechanic. So I'll go ahead and name it. I usually name things AM underscore for animation montage. So you go to right click, create animation montage, do the same thing with the other one. And now we can edit these montages. We'll start with the full running slide. Now you'll notice there's a lot of pre-roll here. Well, once I zoom out, you'll see there's a lot of pre-running, which we don't need because we want to go straight into the slide when we're done. And so let's go find that spot when we start the slide. And we do want it to be snappy, so we want to kind of pick right in the run, right about there. Looks like about 0.58. And when you go to the end, you see there is no post roll or whatever you would call it. He just goes, he jets up and goes right back into the run. So we want to set our start time to 0.58 for this animation. And then we'll just go adjust the blending a little bit. So blend in time is fine. Blend out, we're going to shorten that up just a little bit to make it so it can blend into the fall if needed. Okay, now on to the slide to falling. Time-wise, he's actually great. We don't need to trim anything off of this animation. I made it specifically for this purpose. And I think the only thing that we're gonna wanna do is shorten up the blend time. So we'll, we don't really need any blend time because this is coming straight from the slide, which is the inbound animation pose here. So we shorten that up to 20th of a second, and then we can shorten up the outbound to get into the fall because uh, I had it transition directly to the fall pose. Okay, so now that we have everything set up, we can actually modify the blueprints to add this mechanic. We'll open up the character blueprint and we'll go find a open space in the event graph. And for your purposes like in an actual project you want to use enhance input actions but I'm just going to use a debug key for the purposes of this tutorial and we'll go ahead and map it to debug key Q so just when you press the Q key it's going to engage the slide mechanic and so we'll go play a montage and 
we select our running slide montage that we created. And at this point, you've already got the slide. It just doesn't have fall detection or any of the other stuff we're going to add to this. But let's hit play. And we'll get a uh, feel for how it works right out of the box with one blueprint node. It's actually not bad, but you'll notice the legs are wonky. They don't look good at all. They kind of float in the air. And that's because leg IK is still enabled. So we definitely want to disable leg IK. So we'll go to the animation blueprint for the sandbox character. And you'll notice leg IK is just turned on all the time. So here we're going to get our sandbox character. And for starters, we'll just say, is the character doing a traversal action? And we'll map traversal action to that. So this is what you'll do if you just want the slide mechanic and you don't want to be able to press the space bar and launch or do a jump during a slide, you would just use the traversal action. And then we're going to select a float. And so if the traversal action is true, then we want zero to be leg IK's blend amount. And if it's false, meaning we're not traversing, we want to turn leg IK back on, which is setting the value to one. Compile that, go back to our character blueprint. And now when we play this anim montage, immediately as we start it, we want to make sure that we're setting traversal action or doing traversal action to true. And I just realized I need to be able to turn this off when the, if my montage gets interrupted or when it's completed, we're going to start by turning off uh, or turning the traversal action to true. But then we need to, on completion or on interruption, we want to be able to set that back to false. Otherwise, the character will never be able to jump again. So I've swapped that out my play anim montage for play montage. And now we're going to set whether or not we're doing a traversal action and then on completion and on, or interruption, which is going to happen when we do automatic fall detection, we want to set that to false. And so this is what you use if you don't want to be able to preempt the slide and do the slide launch, which is that dash jump mechanic that I talked about in the intro. Okay, so now notice the legs are fine. Everything looks good. This is a complete slide mechanic in you know, a couple uh, blueprint nodes. But one thing you'll notice is he magic carpets his way all the way down to the ground. So what we want to do is automatically detect that fall. As soon as the character is no longer over the top of a platform or the ground, they're not on the ground anymore, we want to kick them into the falling animation and put them back out of the slide. So we'll delete this. We're going to create a variable. We'll call it want disable leg IK. And then holding Alt, we'll drag that into our event graph. And that'll cause it to set. Control. When you hold Control and drag it in, that'll do a get. And so when we start the montage, we want to disable leg IK. And when we're done, we want to re-enable leg IK. And so now we need to go back over to the animation blueprint and have it reflect these changes and do something based on this variable instead. So of note, I prefer when doing traversal action to turn off leg IK because it causes some odd results. So I'm going to leave that in place, but I'm just, in this case, I'm going to show we get the whether or not we want to disable leg IK, and that's going to drive. But what you could do is do a Boolean OR in both of those cases and disable in either of those. So now we have a fully working leg IK situation, which is independent of the traversal action, which will allow us to then go modify the event tick. OK, so on the event tick, we're going to want to add a node a branch node specifically. And when, while you're dragging out the line, you can just press B to create a branch. So I'll do that properly. Just hit B. 
and then the branch is going to in the case where we're no longer moving on ground and we don't want leg IK, which is what the flag I'm using to determine whether or not we're actually in a slide. So it's essentially going to be want disable leg IK and not moving on ground. We want that to trigger an automatic fall detection. What that means is we're currently sliding and we've detected the is moving on ground when we negate that and say is not moving on ground, that's going to tell us we're, we're over air. We're no longer on a ground surface with the character. So disable leg IK and not moving on ground, then that's going to cause the true to be that branch. When it goes true, that means the character is over air and they're currently executing a slide. So in that case, we just want to stop that montage and then we'll deal with the rest of that logic um, down in the actual uh, play montage node below. I am not good at arranging blueprints, but I'm trying to make it a little cleaner for you. So we just in the case of true, we stop the montage. We pick the montage we want to stop, which is our running slide. And that's it. The rest of our work is going to be done down in our debug key handling. Because now what that's going to cause is an interruption. So now when we interrupt, we want to fire our slide to falling montage so we get a nice smooth transition from sliding to falling in midair. So we'll select that montage now. When I'm done arranging the deck chairs on the Titanic. There we go. So now I would use our running slide to falling. And that is everything that we have to do. So. When that montage completes naturally, it's going to disable lag IK. When it is interrupted, it's going to switch over to the new montage for running to falling, and then it will disable lag IK. So now we have this nice jump launch mechanic. There you go. And as soon as he leaves, the, leaves that platform, you'll notice he goes back to a nice falling animation. So it's good and natural there. And that's it. Definitely let me know if there's anything that was confusing or you could, were unable to follow. I'd, I'll remake the tutorial or I'll add a, add a little extra video to show the missing pieces. Um, reach out on Discord or uh, via the comments. And uh, see you next time. And I want to make it very clear that I 100% designed the slide launch mechanic. And it didn't just, for example, discover it by accident because I didn't disable um, the ability to jump during the slide. And then I hit the space bar and it just did something very neat that I wanted to show you. So that is 100% not what happened. I completely designed it ahead of time.